Okay, my friends, now we are going to get into um, the energies that are upcoming this winter. So we're going to talk a little bit about this cycle again that we talked about in the last video. And that has to do with the massive um, wrapping up of different timelines, right? So we're in a timeline convergence. This is something that timelines are very misunderstood by a lot of people. And I'm still learning a lot about them too. Um, I'm certainly no expert, but with the timelines that are converging right now, what can happen to make things so intriguing for us is that there can be kind of a bleed over of timelines, right? Or almost like a bleed through or almost like a cord or a psychic connection to another timeline, right? So you can be running multiple timeline energies at the same time if they're very similar timelines. And when those kind of collapse and converge, we can end up with mixed feelings about things, or we can also end up with um, traits that we didn't have before, right? So we may notice that we look a little different to ourselves, or we, we can have new abilities or different cravings for things or different preferences, um, new loves as far as like, oh, I love that book series and I don't know why I didn't like it before, <laughs> you know, things like that, where you just have um, things that are a little different, you know, you can notice a little difference and, um, but not to the point that you're like, I'm in a different reality, you know? So when the timelines are separating which they are right now, we end up having this experience almost where people stop interacting in a way that they were before. So this can be almost like we, as we separate more and more, the people who are in the descending timelines or the lower timelines aren't necessarily able to see what the people in the ascending timelines are able to see. So it's really a difference in the frequency that you can access in your vibrational alignment, right? So the higher the frequency, the more information um, is being shared in that in that frequency, right? So it's information about higher levels of existence. And it's beyond just the physical, everyday living stuff, right? So we end up getting information that is um, based in higher consciousness. And when we get that information, it shifts our point of view. Now, the more we shift our points of view into sovereignty and limitlessness and all of that, the more the people in the descending timelines are shifting into the savior programs or the limitations being expressed, you know, so authority, authority, they're shifting more into having an authority while the people in the ascending timelines are shifting out of having an authority or are becoming their own authority. So this can create a really big difference in the collective energies and feel very uncomfortable and um, feel very much in uh, disharmonious. So there'll be like discord between the two groups and that will grow. So we look at this and we think like, well, aren't we supposed to be uniting right now for unity consciousness? Yeah, we are. But we have a separation of these different timelines and these timelines lead into different experiences, right? So not everybody is going into the same experience or the same energetic um opportunities, right? And we're dealing with people kind of separating out into where they need to go. If you look at this time period as kind of a sorting period, where people are choosing what they choose to get them into the appropriate path. So as we have this timeline convergence, so the Mandela effect will continue. So we have different memories of the same thing, right? Or different, same time period, different events happened or, you know, you know, the Mandela effect. You can explore that more. We're having these major personal completions and epiphanies. So the personal completions are wrapping up old problems or issues or cycles that we were stuck in or patterns. You know how you can have this thing that happens repeatedly in relationships or in jobs and you're like, fuck, it happened again. You know, 
that's the stuff we're wrapping up because we're starting to become aware. We're gaining incredible amounts of awareness of how we are impacting the universe and how we are creating and generating our own timelines and our own experiences. So now with all these timelines converging, we were doing this because we are going through a collective jump in consciousness as a whole tribe, right? Human, the human tribe. And when we go through these different jumps in consciousness. This is like a leap in consciousness, right? That's what this mass awakening is leading us to, this this really big evolutionary leap in consciousness for an entire group of beings. And this opens up new possibilities and a lot of opportunities for people because when when your consciousness expands, you realize you have the awareness that there is so much more going on than what you thought was going on. So that means um, you have greater creator potential. You can see how things fit together better. So you just kind of, um, as a whole society, a global society, make shifts for the greater good. Right. So that's what this collective jump in consciousness is. And this is just part of our natural progression that we've been planning through the ascension process. We're exactly on track here. With this collective jump in consciousness, you get gain awareness, right? And so we're starting to see as a society, a global society, the breakdown of the old because we're bringing in this new energy and we can see the old isn't working. It's outdated and just isn't going to work. So the lies and deceptions in the government, in medicine, in politics are being exposed left and right right now, right? So this is the beginning of this takedown and breakdown of these different, we'll say, groups and beings and factions of beings that have been enslaving humanity. So this is the beginning of their demise. Now, when you expose a bunch of corruption, then people know what they're working with and they can make different choices. So they can either support that corruption or not. That's something a lot of people are waking up to. Like, I just don't want to do this same pattern anymore. I'm done being angry. I'm done being tired. I'm, I'm done being afraid. You know, and all of those are um, frequencies that don't allow the body to heal. They, in fact, create more breakdown in the body and illness in the body, which is why there's huge fear pushing going on in the world because we'll naturally heal when when there's nothing in the way of your body healing you'll heal the things that get in the way of your body healing are thoughts and beliefs (laughs) usually thoughts and beliefs right and the thoughts and beliefs lead you into the situations in the physical but in the same regard those toxic thoughts and those toxic beliefs like i need to be rescued or i need to be saved i can't do this myself will put you in a space where you're not fully healed and you're not empowered. And so a lot of people are waking up to and questioning their beliefs and do do they work for them? Are these beliefs still valid for me? Does it contribute to my greatest um, health and, and well-being? So that's been really huge too. And as people start to see the truth about reality and the lies and deception um, continue to be exposed, it can make people's version of reality crumble. And that's where people end up in that kind of like dark night of the soul energy where they're just, they don't know what they believe. They don't know what they're supposed to be doing. They don't feel comfortable. They don't feel happy. And it's a pretty rough period of time. Although everything on this planet, it ebbs and flows. Sometimes you feel great. Sometimes you feel shitty. Sometimes you feel fantastic. Sometimes you feel just okay. You know, so we have all of these different, um, these different feelings, none of them are right or wrong, but they're all just more of the navigation so that you can figure out what direction really will bring you the greatest joy. That's what I have for you right now. I will be back very soon with another video on the solstice. All right, much love, my friends.